Hi guys and welcome back for another video review here in Ricky's Vape Spot. Today we'll be taking a look at the new Ego AIO or the Ego IO, a new all-in-one device by Joytech. I'm always on the lookout for new beginner devices and uh, when I say new beginner devices I mean beginner devices that are simple to use. When you are a smoker and you want to transition to something else, you can take into account that you, yes, you have to buy liquids now and yes, you do have to maybe buy coils now, but all the rest you want it basically to be as simple as possible. So when a smoker starts to look into vaping, all they see is the complexity of it because you need to know what device to choose, you need to know what tank to choose, you need to know what coil to choose, do you rebuild your own coils, you need to know what liquids you want, you, do you want a high VG liquid, a low VG liquid, do you want 0, 6, 12, 18 milligrams of nicotine and all of that can be really actually frightening to, to people that are trying to transition from traditional smoking to vaping. So all that can really basically turn off smokers to become vapors. So what smokers want, they want a simple device, same as they did with their cigarettes. They want to take out that cigarette from the box, light it up, and that's about it. With vaping, if they have a screen where they have to choose their temperature, they have to choose their wattage, they really easily get basically turned off by that because it's simply too complicated for them. And that's, that's something that uh, advanced vapors basically forget that yes it's simple for us because we're doing it for so long but for new beginner they just really want to take an electronic cigarette and, and vape it or smoke it. Until now I was basically always recommending the Joytech uh, Ego One battery because it has a small and compact form factor, it does have a really uh, nice uh, battery that's giving enough vapor and yeah, the coils are pretty decent uh, and, and the flavor you get out of it is okay. I guess it's okay. It's, it's better with the rebuildable head. But then uh, Joytech came out with the Ego One TC and that had a little bit more functions where you could actually choose between a standard coil or a temperature control coil. And they you got actually three different types of coils. And when you hand that over to some a new beginner, uh, they are... First, they really have to check, okay, what do I do, when do I put which coil inside and how do I know which coil it is and, and what what's the difference between temperature control and, and regular coil. Beginner vapors they just want to put on one coil they know that fits in there, put in some liquid, close it off and vape it. Um, so the more options we give them, the more they get turned off. So what beginner vapors in my perspective need. They need a simple device, a one button device with only one coil inside, a simple device where they cannot do anything wrong, they just they press it and it works. And I think that's exactly what Joytech uh, did with this all-in-one device to simplify the, the process of, of getting into vaping as much as they possibly could. So without further ado, let's dive down and have a closer look at it. So the Joytech AIO comes in this nice presentation box as we're used already from Joytech. Joytech is on the side. On front we do have a picture of the device itself, Ego AIO. It has a 2ml tank, childproof cap and supposedly leak proof. Uh, Ego all-in-one style. On the back we do have um, everything that comes in this box. So let's open it up. Inside we will have uh, the device itself, you can take that out, put it aside for a while, Let's put this off. Underneath we will find a short user manual, uh, we have a warranty card here, as well as uh, an attention card uh, stating that you are allowed to fill to the maximum line here. So in this silver version we do have a line indicator here on the side I'm not sure if you can be able to see that okay while on the color tanks uh, the line is basically marked with the going from black to white um, on the tank section here 
underneath we do have um, another box coming with a USB cable, another drip tip, uh, the one that comes with it uh, has kind of spiral inside uh, preventing supposedly sp spit back uh, and this is a old plain simple drip tip plastic. Uh, USB cable and we do get another spare coil. Um, the tank didn't come with any coils installed, I did install them already so you will get another extra spare here. So let's look at the device from top to bottom. On the top we do have a removable drip tip. Here is where you open the tank section. The airflow is up here. On the front we do have a fire button. On the other side opposite of the fire button there is the USB charge button and that's basically all there is to the device. The device does have venting on the bottom and the diameter of the device is 19 millimeters. Let's take a look at it next to the Ego One. So the Ego One does come in a little bit shorter but it's the same diameter as the Ego One so it's 19 millimeters. To turn off or turn on the device it takes five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's off. Five clicks to turn it on. And it's firing. To change the color of uh, the tank you press, you'd have to turn off the device. And then basically long press until it starts changing colors. So now, when you have in color mode, just press it again and then you are able to change the color with purple, yellow, this some light blue, dark blue, green, light blue, red, purple, yellow. So that was a closer look at it. Let's take it back up to top and have a vape. So oh, it's a pretty nice vape. Um, just to show you the function, when you do want to replace the coil or refill your tank, you basically press this in and turn it. And then what happens basically is that you untwist the, the top cap with the coil installed. You might want to have a paper towel handy because this is soaked in e-juice. Um, one thing that does come out as a con for the Joytech AIO is basically that you do have this tank but you're not really able to wash it since you do have uh, your fire button here and your USB port. So when you want to wash it, uh, you're risking the chance of water coming into your uh, power button or USB port and that's something you really don't want to do. So what you can do basically is you can take some, some uh, tape, duct tape, uh, and place it over those parts as well as uh, the vent hole down here and wash it out if you really really need to do it but uh, I would rather suggest you to simply pour out the liquid and then take a maybe a wet paper towel and clean it up uh, like so stuff the paper towel inside and just clean it up maybe with a wet paper towel and you're basically ready to go I don't think this is uh, a big con point uh, for new vapors because new vapors uh, as far as I know, mainly go with one type of juice because they just want to find that replacement for their cigarette. So usually, and m mostly, it's some tobacco juice and they, they're not really on the lookout for changing so many flavors. But even if you do, I, I think uh, you can get it pretty clean without pouring water all over it. So to close it, um, this is basically also how you remove your coil head, so you unscrew this from uh, the top. You need to also press in this top cap to remove the coil otherwise it, it will just keep spinning. So this is the coil head. Uh, both and all the coil heads are 0 0.6 ohms 316 stainless steel. They come together like so. Press it in. Okay, paper towel comes in handy. And then just fill up the tank to the maximum line here, you can 
see it's indicated here. Like that here. I will fill it up. Okay, and then when you basically um, put in the coil and the displacement of liquid happens uh, is you are pretty much good to go so that the tank doesn't overfill or flood or leak. So if you are taking care of those instructions, I don't think you will experience any leaking. Uh, there is maybe can be some gurgling uh, in the first few puffs, but this goes away and then stays away basically. So. And I really like those coil heads much much better than uh, those uh, Ego One coil heads. I, I don't even use the Ego One coil heads. Um, I only rebuild them because the flavor is so much better when you when you rebuild. And with these ones it's... I could see myself vaping on those coil heads. It's really good. So another thing to mention is that the airflow comes in here from the top, there is this little seam or gap, um, and on top you will find two little dots and when you align them, uh, that's basically your most open position of, of the tank and once you close it down either to the left or to the right, you will basically find the, the airflow tightening up. And it's a really, really comfortable uh, mouth to lung head. I will just try it. Really nice. And when with it full open, I don't find that much difference in it. But with it full open, you get a really restrictive lung head. Let's try that. And of course, tons of vapor. So, with all of that said, um, I did get mine directly here in Croatia at mtmstore.eu. They have it in store now for 27 euros, which is pretty maybe steep for that uh, device because I did find it on the internet much cheaper. I think even Fastec has it for like 19 US dollars. Um, but then again, if, you, if you're here and you want some warranty on it and everything, uh, if you don't mind paying a little bit extra, you can't go wrong with this device. I will leave all the links in the description below so you can find it. Uh, and as I said, I think I really like this device and I think this will be the next uh, beginner device that I will recommend to everyone that is asking me. I did um, hear the Inokin Endura T18 is, is pretty good as well. I didn't have a chance yet to test it. Uh, but as far as this goes, uh, it's it's really really good and highly highly recommended. If you're a new vapor and you wanna have something cheap uh, to try out vaping for your first time, I think this is the way to go. Given the fact that we started on those smaller Ego batteries with C4 tanks and, and stuff like that, this is so much better, so so much better. And 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 if I had that when I started vaping, I think I would have been. Uh, so much easier to to transition from from regular smoking to vaping with something like this. So with that said, um, if you do have some smoker friends, uh, try and uh, get some of those ego IOs for them. Uh, I think they will enjoy it. And plus, if you need some small and and stealthy device just to put in your pocket, that's the way to go too. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. And I'll see you again pretty soon with another video review.